Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add click action to your button in Windows Presentation Foundation or WPF. So first thing, open Visual Studio and create one empty WPF project. And you will have one XML file and one C sharp file that looks like this. Okay. Now here, I want to add my button. Okay. And we are going to add some properties to it, like let's say X name. Let's set this to button and set its content to let's say click button. Okay, then let me change this. Okay, so it should be in double quote marks. Okay, now next thing, uh, set some click action to your button for that we make use of click okay now here you can add new event handler okay and it automatically adds one method in your main window c sharp okay now after you do that simply use width let's say 150 then height let's see 150 then close this you can change the height to say 100 so as to make your button look good okay now inside your main window xml c sharp file you will find this private void button underscore click method that takes object center and routed event argument now, if you check your XML file, here you will find that click action will call this button underscore click method. Okay, and here we are going to add message box dot show, and within double quote you will find it says, let's say hello. I'm going to use my channel name Devnami and you'll find that this message will be coming with message box when i clicked on that button okay that's all we are going to do within this program so let's execute and find out how it works so the project is running and it will run some compilation checks and after that it will open one WPF window. If there are any errors, then those errors will appear on this output console. And as you can see, your WPF window now looks like this with button that says click button at the center of this window and if i click this then you will find that it opens this message box that says hello devnami so devnami means my channel name that's why i use this you can replace this with your own name or any other name of your choice to check out how this message box looks when you click on the button you can also use the similar action to any other element as well but to set the action to the button this is the process or flow of execution that you can follow 